Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment channel. As you can see, we are back. I'm so glad. I told y'all YouTube was playing games behind the scenes. Um, I missed uploading so much. I missed it. Like, I just felt incomplete without uploading. So, subscribe to the backup account because you never know what's going on. And I told y'all, okay, we don't know what YouTube got going on these days. So, just subscribe. And yes, y'all, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Okay. First things first, y'all, okay? It seems like Ice Spice and Taylor Swift have a collab coming out, okay? Um, now, at the time of me making this video, the collab has already came out, and I'm going to review it shortly. But let's go ahead and get into that, okay? So first off, first off, when I heard this announcement, I was like, Ice Spice and Taylor Swift, what is that going to sound like, okay? And the song that they are um, releasing, the remix to, Karma, okay? Um, I could not see Ice Spice on the song. And to me, I was just shocked at the fact that I'm even seeing that in the same sentence. You know, like, think about it. You know, this is the same girl on the corner talking about that nigga a munch back in 2022. Okay, last year. And now she's on a song with Taylor Swift. Like, if anybody would have imagined that at the time, you, I would have laughed at you and called you delusional and delulu. I would have never even thought that would, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, you never thought that would happen. But, you know, the world is crazy. And it seems like God is in Ice Spice's favor. I mean, God is in everybody's favor for real. But she doing something. Um, manifestation, the universe, something is working in her power. Like, a Nicki feature and a Taylor Swift feature in less than a month and a half apart? Are you kidding me right now? And she was at the Met Gala? And she has her second top 10 hit of her career? and like it's just it's insane like ice spices thing right now is insane but what also is insane is her trash ass verse on that song okay yep i'm gonna give credit where credit is due she's being successful right now but that damn taylor swift feature that's that sounded trash um it just sounded like she was misplaced on the song it sounded like a um mash up of a ice spice feature that just made that was made by a fan it just does not it did not sound like it was crafted well it sounded rushed it sounded like it was done in 25 minutes it sounded like i could have did better than that um yeah okay don't get me wrong okay she is getting a lot of promo for the song um by being one of taylor swift feature but mm -mm. sorry ice spice it was not it how do y'all feel about it let me know your opinions down below in the comment section we can go ahead and talk about that y'all but until then let's move on to this next topic well 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 it seems like cardi b is going to be hopping on the put it under the floor i'm sorry put it on the floor remix um by lotto okay um now this was recently announced a couple days ago and i've been trying to think is this smart okay um or is this just cardi b okay needing to hop onto whatever is popping right now just so she can stay relevant okay because as you all know she hopped on that um glorilla um tomorrow negative three song okay and now she's hopping on to lotto's song now lotto's song has been seeing uh you know people been talking about on social media okay but it's nowhere on the charts nowhere on anybody's chart but people have been talking about the whole rip me out the toilet i've been acting shitty or whatever she said rip me oh rip me out the plastic i've been acting brand new yeah that whatever she said there um yeah now how do i feel about cardi b getting on i feel like she's just trying to hop on for a cloud i'm not gonna lie to y'all y'all may call me you know oh you're you're delusional you're negative i'm just being honest okay i tell her how it is and that's just my opinion i think she's hopping on to the lotto song for clout period i mean there's barely any clout to even milk for real because it's not on the charts anywhere um, but people are talking about the song on social media, okay? So, how did I feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and discuss that, y'all. But until then, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, y'all. Moving on, moving on. It seems like Nicki Minaj is going to be in the Barbie soundtrack, okay? Now, how do I feel about this? I love this um, simply because Nicki Minaj has a huge role in the whole entire Barbie brand, okay? And I'm surprised she hasn't done anything with Barbie sooner, okay? But yes, y'all, it would actually be a crime if they did not include her in it, okay? I would actually be shocked if she was not in it. And I was actually a bit shocked that I didn't hear about this earlier because, you know, earlier we were hearing about the Barbie soundtrack and all that rah-rah, and Nikki was nowhere to be found. But, you know, they got their mind right, they got their mind straight, 
and they, you know, got it right, okay? And Nicki's gonna be in it. Now, I'm hype, I'm excited. I also saw that Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice are gonna be in a song together for the soundtrack, so that should be cool. But let me know how y'all feel about that, okay? How do y'all feel about that? I would love to hear what you gotta say. You know, Barbie is Nicki's brand, okay? Um, ever since she came out the gate, she's been Barbie, okay? So, like I've been saying, if they did not include her, that would have been a crime. We would have been causing a riot, okay? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and discuss that, y'all. But until then, I think we should move on to this next topic, okay? What do you think? Okay, y'all. It seems like Summer Walker is finally getting that ass up and she's doing what she has to do on stage, okay? As you all know, Summer Walker has been known for not giving that energy, just being boring, lackluster, just giving me stiff boots, okay? So it seems like Summer Walker is now on here with Tiana Taylor and she's giving her, you know, advice, tips, you know, live run throughs and she's getting her stage presence up there, okay? Now, I'm not gonna lie, okay? Um,. At first, I was like, what do y'all want Summer Walker to do? But after seeing that she's capable of improving her career with this live performing stuff, oh yeah, Summer Walker, um, you need Tiana Taylor for real. You need Tiana Taylor for real. But yeah, y'all, Summer Walker, she about to, you know, step into that little one-two bag, okay? She's not giving us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight count. She's giving us a little one, two, one, two. And that's all we need from the R&B girls, okay? The R&B girls be up there looking like a deer in headlights. Baby, blink or something. You know, can we see that you're live? You're scaring me, Pooh. You're scaring me. But yeah, y'all, yeah, um, how do y'all feel about that? I'm so proud of Summer Walker for, you know, expanding her career, expanding what she's doing. I'm just very, very proud of her. Um, yes, y'all, let's move on to this next topic, okay? Well, well. Oh well, y'all, The Little Mermaid is now out in theaters. I'm hype. I'm glad. Um, I love this, okay? I can't wait to see it. I'm seeing it tonight, all right? So, y'all, wish me luck. I'm excited. I'm about to be like, under the sea, wish I could be. I'm going to be singing my heart out crying. But, y'all, okay, so it seems like that The Little Mermaid is now projected to do over $120 million on the opening weekend um of the memorial day okay which is the first weekend of the movie being out which is insane okay i'm here for it okay i'm here for it um this is big but like i've been telling y'all i hope that hallie does not get snubbed by disney i hope disney's not paying her little pennies behind the scenes because you know we have these huge black disney stars who talk about their success and then later on we realize they weren't getting paid ish they were getting treated badly behind the scenes they weren't getting compensated for their work completely they were being blackballed eventually i just hope that hallie is not getting snubbed somewhere behind the scenes and i hope she's getting her coin okay and i mean her good coin i don't mean she's getting only a million for the weekend i mean she needs to get at least 40 million of that percentage of that 120 million i understand yeah you got your fees you got the box office you got your taxes all that money all that rah rah she needs to be cutting at least 40 million for that weekend i mean like yeah because without hallie we wouldn't have this is this big commotion about this movie and I'm going to be real with y'all. She's the only reason why I'm watching that shit. So if I find out later on down the line that Disney is snubbing her somewhere behind the scenes or something like that, I'm going to cause a riot. Because, you know, Disney's known for that, y'all. Disney's known for doing the black girls wrong. And it's a whole documentary on now on YouTube. You can look it up. Um, yeah, they be doing the girls wrong, okay? But let's move on to this next topic, y'all. Okay, y'all. It seems like the new artist, well, she's not really new, but like in the mainstream, you know, tiktok viral world she's a new artist Callie. um yeah she's been making music for a while now but she has this new hit out called area codes and i kind of want to talk about it y'all because it's causing the latest buzz right now um it's on the billboard high 100 chart and it has jumped like 20 plus spots it's just going viral right now and it seems like Callie is you know up and coming and she's rising and it seems like she's going to be you know here to make some bops or whatever um now how do i feel about this area code song i love it it's a really real smooth vibe and i feel like she ate this song up okay um this song is definitely a hit got a white boy on my laps to be female laps and past <laughs> yeah it's a hit okay and i can't deny it it's a hit um kelly ate this song up congratulations to her rising on the billboard charts um, you know, she's seeing so much success right now. So congratulations to Callie. This song is a vibe. It seems like Nicki Minaj is also rumored to be on the remix of this song. So we're going to see about that. We're going to see about that. But yes, y'all, how do y'all feel about the song? How do y'all feel about this video? And I'm so glad to be back. Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. And I will see you in the next one. Be safe.